Hi friends, uh, welcome back after a long time. Uh, due to some health issues, I unable to record video in since last uh, three or four months. Uh, as you know, myself Vital Verge, and uh, I'm blogs at www.compilemode.com as well as csharcorner.com. I'm Maxo most valuable professional as well as Csharp Corner MAP. In this video tutorial, we will cover how to create a .NET web service. Before going to start my uh, video tutorial, let me remind you that the web service in .NET is now uh, outdated technology because there are lots of alternatives are introduced in .NET framework like uh, WCF and WebAPI. So the uh, use of web services are less in nowadays. But uh, these type of web services are widely created in other platform like uh, Java, PHP, SAP, BizTalk, and uh, and other platform so to make them a uh, beginner understand what actually the web service is so so that's why I have decided to record this video tutorial so the agenda of this video tutorial is we will cover these uh, topics in short like why web service what is web service a real-time scenario like where to use that web service creating a smart web service using Visual Studio 2015 uh, creating web method what is web method understanding wgl understanding soap request and response header and testing web service output at our client end so this is agenda we will cover in video tutorial so let's see without wasting the time so what was the problem uh, to introduce this type of services let's see i have uh, one method in c sharp that is calculate loan and i want to use or i want to consume in a java application so the both the platform are different okay c sharp language specification is different java language specification is different uh, compilers are different then how how these two languages are communicated with each, with each other it is very difficult because this c sharp method that is calculate loan method it is reusable and i want to distribute on multiple client client means uh, like languages uh, like uh, java based application uh, we can say that php application or b python anything so the problem is here we need some bridge between the two application to communicate easily so so it is a one require middleware between these two so the c sharp uh, c sharp method can be uh, can be used in java can be used in php can be used in SAF and and other some languages so to overcome these problems there are lots of uh, technology came in the market like com is one of the technology uh, i think you read, uh, read about it uh, remoting is one of the technology then after that this is a uh, this is a web service and latest one is we can call it is a wbpa wcf and uh, other some technologies so let us understand what is web service mean web service is a technology by using application can communicate with other cross platform application means that is php java something or same platform means uh, uh, .NET developed application within a .NET applications so despite of what language used to develop it means what is the language which is developed by web services doesn't matter to communicate as I have already stated it. So let's understand one diagram. Let's see. Uh, this is a simple diagram. I have created a SBRN web service. Let's understand this one. I have created a SBRN web service and it can be consumed in SBRN, uh, SP.NET application, Java application, and other application. It is same platform as you said, it is same platform or cross platform means this one Java and other. So the it is a different application as well as, as well as that is web application, Windows application, console application, and some other application. So this is a simple hierarchy. I can create web service in Java and can use in ASP.NET, or I can uh, create a web service in .NET platform. I can consume in a Java. I can create a Java a Java web service and it can be used in PHP, SAP, and other applications. So this is the concept behind the web service to fulfill the cross-platform communication barrier 
so the, let us see what are the uh, uh, platform where to where are the web services are created i can create web services in java as i already told you i can create web services in php i can create web services in sap i, I can create web services in net like asp.net i can create web services in bstock i create web services in some other platform so this is the concept behind the web service so let us one understand about real uh, real time scenario let's assume uh, I have one big hotel uh, which is I was a dream and uh, I want to uh, I want to enter into the digital world like I don't want to uh, come customer to my hotel and book the rooms uh, to waste their time so I want to provide I want to provide some uh, online services to book my room okay so so there are uh, my hotel room so there are lots of uh, Online booking platform are in market like uh, Paytm is there, Oyo Room is there, and uh, GoIweb is there, and other some uh, some online booking websites. So, uh, so suppose I have uh, one IT team. So I have decided uh, uh, given that this task to the IT team that create one uh, create one application which will be uh, which can be cross platform application can communicate easily to our hotel and that they can book the rooms. So the so like a scenario is this like uh, this pay time is there uh, go away website is there make my trip is there and OA room is there so what happens I don't know uh, pay time what technology used to be built I don't know go away what technology used to build and make my trip and OA rooms uh, these four websites and other some websites I don't know the language which language they are developed so the my team decided to create the web service which don't have any uh, 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 any language barrier it can be a target on any platform it can be used on any platform so my uh, it team is over one web service it can be used in it can be consumed in pay time go go make my trip and oe rooms so the they all the four websites can send the request to my application and receive the response from my application Suppose uh, any other uh, online booking website is added, it can be easily use same web service. So the this is the concept behind the web service. There are lots of uh, real time example. You can say that there is a weather forecasting web service. We can, where is the all the details are hosted in single directory, and it can be consumed on any platform. So this is the concept behind the web service. So without wasting time, uh, we will uh, create one simple web service using Visual Studio 2015. So I have one Visual Studio open here. So let's see where is my Visual Studio. It's a Visual Studio. So let's uh, click on File, New, uh, Website. It will took some time uh, to load to load the template. So let's wait. Yeah. So this is uh, a uh, Let's add empty website instead of this uh, complete full website to avoid any extra code. So let's give the name. Uh, I will give the name like payment service. Okay. Uh, I can give payment application or uh, see. I will go hotel booking website. Okay. So for your understanding, hotel booking and uh, click on OK okay so let's see let's see some uh, we'll check it will create a uh, one website so it will took some time and so around one two three four six seven i think it will take one minute so let's wait it's a problem of visual studio or maybe configuration issue of my machine let's wait and let's wait let's wait it will taking some time so let's wait friend or oh, don't be get bored okay 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 again 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 it's, it's waiting waiting let's see let's see let's see adding let's see why this is taking time it is adding microsoft.net compiler means it's checking some checking some dependencies that's why it's taking some time so wait so wait friends uh, 
taking 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 yeah okay congratulation to everyone finally it's created solution so we added uh, one simple as.net template so there is no any files or nothing is here so let's add one asmx file that is web service uh, right click on uh, creator solution explorer add it will initialize again templates is very headache so let's add new item now find here web service web service and there are two different languages uh, vb.net and c sharp where our popular language c sharp so give the name of our uh, service file that is asmx it is the extension of web service so let's uh, i will add payments uh, payment web service it is a one payment module in hotel booking so it will be check uh, the payment status of hotel it is made or not okay so payment web service the name uh, you can give name anything you can remove this one like one or you can keep as it is so for reliability purposes i will keep as it is okay so click on add button so let's wait it will get added so taking some time okay so let's wait yeah so our web service is created and simple thing is that uh, this is a smx file that is a dot asmx it is a whole uh, service which is responsible for displaying the output at the client side and this is a, a class file by default added in a app code folder so we can uh, add it anywhere as you wish but is by default get added into app code folder so the if there are multiple classes files then it will create only one dll okay so let us understand it uh, payment web service dot cs class file so this is a, some uh, name page this is web service name page we can uh, we can give name page anything uh, to uniquely identify your web service when you publicly expose to the around the world so so if we give any name name page it will be unique all over the world okay so <clears throat> so this one some of the basic profile settings and if you want to uh, call this web service using jQuery, JavaScript or Ajax call, then simply uncomment this part like this one. Okay. So this all about the web services. Okay. So this one is uh, uncomment the following line if they're using designed components. We are not using any design components. So we will remove this one constructor. This is a web method any any method in web service if you want to expose outside the world then we need to must uh, must uh, define this attribute like web method without this method cannot be called by the remote clients as uh, this is stated here like adding this attribute to a method within xml web service created using asp.net makes the web method callable for remote web client the class cannot be inherited so it will be uh, used to uh, used to make callable from remote web clients so this is a uh, concept behind the web method attribute so there are different types of uh, attribute uh, we can uh, you can read my article on compile mode.com as well as ccorn.com so this is a concept so let us uh, create add one simple class okay so uh here will be simple string method but we will add one class okay uh, public class class payment okay so so make some different we will add some booking payment booking payment so what will we do so simple uh, we will add some properties like uh suppose uh, this is for uh, room id okay this is for room id 
and uh, this is for let's see this is a room type or public something we'll add let's wait top and uh, okay just wait we will add another two properties so it will be understandable for you this for room type okay room type and uh, this is a status you can say that boolean status will be now so without boolean it will be a uh, a uh, 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 show output clients are true or false so instead of this i will i will make it string so it will be more readable status for you this t okay status booking status status s t a t so this is a status uh, so simply we will create one list of student uh, list of this booking like uh wait list of uh list of uh, booking payment okay booking payment obj pay so instead of uh, fetching the uh, records from database we are uh, creating here list of something list of booking payment okay now here we will add some methods okay let's wait let's wait new booking payment let's another add one another record new booking payment new booking payment so we will add only two records because it will be get bored for you if i get keep adding multiple records okay so it will be a, a room id it will be suppose i will add uh, 0 1 2 3 something okay and uh, this will be a room type is a ac ac double do double okay and uh, status is booking status is uh, we can say that pending pending okay so again i will add in same record in stop again adding okay uh, it will be a 58 non ac okay non ac booking status is booked okay now i will add another one uh, it will be a 59 and uh, suppose this one uh, ac single okay and this status is booking status is free free means it is not at booked so we will fetch list of the status at client side so what will be it will be a list of booking payments okay so hotel booking status room book or we can say that room booking status room booking status sta this is a our web method name it will be written simply a this list okay 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 and uh, we will learn another one of web method it will check status by id it will fetch all the uh, uh, all the list of this uh, booking status and another one method we will add which will return just simply one method like uh, the uh, hotel is booked or not by id int uh, we can say that room id room id so how can we list this one suppose okay so let's see uh, let's see we will keep it as a list 
so if there is a multiple then it will cause problem okay so the booking payment where it is a link query where b is a lambda expression b dot uh, room id equals to equals to this is a input room id okay whatever the user will be send and this will be fetch list of record is equals to dot to list okay so so it will check the uh, booking status by id and this will be fetch the all the booking details so these are the simple web service we have created in a asp.net in .net platform so let's run this web service and see the output at client side okay let's see let's see wait i will close this one and it will took some time to build or i we can set is set a startup page okay okay so let's wait it will be built it takes time and uh, we will get understand about the asmx as well burning is complete it will take some time so let's wait uh, let's wait for few second so it will it will yeah it will now running or no let's see not at running yeah so this is our web service that is payment dot asmx so before that this is a web service extension okay don't forget this is a web service extension like uh, we have in asp.net dot uh, aspx or uh, this is a asmx for web service so let's understand what is this uh, code band is added for web series we have used a language c sharp that's why it is a c sharp attribute code behind where is the my code behind file is located for payment web series dot asmx it is a under app code it is a payment service it is a app code folder at server and under the let's see this is a app code folder and this is a payment service what is the class file name let's see what is the class file name this is a payment service is my Last name or oh, this is a uh, sorry this is a our name paste name okay so my service is running oh something there is a problem because system generic list web service created the user's name a room booking so I use the message name property to web method customer to switch the unique message names for the methods so there is a, some problem here let's see what will the problem let's see let's see let's see let's see this is a payment booking status room booking room booking status by id because this is called as something method or loading okay so forget it and again run over uh, application okay so if these types of error are came again and again so it will be lots of learning for you okay without error we can't learn anything so let's see there are two methods here this my web service is running and there are two methods room booking status and booking sta uh, room booking status by id so this is a this is my uh, uh, WSDL. Let's see. WSDL means Web Service Description Language. We are understanding this point now. Which point? This one. What is WSDL? And uh, uh, later on, we will understand what is the SOAP request and response header. So, we will cover in this. Let's see. What is my this one? Okay. So this is a W2 web service description language where all the uh, all the details about the web service are contained. What are the input parameters? What are the uh, output parameters? And what are the methods being used inside the web services? All the details are the 
listed here what will the return type of that web service everything is listed here so let's see this is my uh, we can always say that this is a soap action we can uh, consume using a web request uh, as well so this is a my name page tembo.org and this is one a room booking status this all the about the web service description language so normally simple here okay so first we will expose this matter room booking status okay so this is a simple simple object access protocol this will build the uh, response it will not taking any parameter just we want to click and uh, request uh, this is a request parameters okay so we can say that this is a request uh, request method okay so let's invoke this one and this is the output that is array of booking payment this is the room id 657 room id 658 650 it is uh, removed uh, leading zero by default okay so all the details are came here now let's see let's see another one method that is room booking status by id let's see uh, we have lots of uh, ids right 657 is there 658 is there and 6590 is there. so let's see six, we will type 659 input parameter 65 and let's see what will we get return right it's the ac single and is a free as it is listed here already here okay ac and free let's see check another room uh, room let's see i will enter this room id is equals to 658 see this is room is already booked so this all about the web services now this is very simple web series we have created in a uh, .NET application so let's see we have also tested our web service output now if you want to contact me uh, you can contact my email id even if you want any help regarding uh, your college project and everything you can contact me on uh, my cell number as well or we can connect with my compilemore.com websites as well as shishercon website we can you can connect with my twitter as well facebook as well and linkedin link as well so 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 that's it friend from my uh, all uh, all and uh, if you like this type of videos and my articles so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel as well as my blog if you want to subscribe my blog just simply go to the www.compilemode.com so all the tutorials are listed here and just to click here your website uh, your email id and just click on subscribe button and also you want to connect with not facebook so don't forget to connect with uh, me on this platform to to get connected with the latest technologies again thanks for watching and waiting for your valuable feedback thanks friends